All right, today I'm going to be unlocking the rarest weapon in Call of Duty Zombies history. Now, I've never in my life unlocked this before, so I'm going to be looking at a guide as we go along. And there's two main reasons why I haven't unlocked it. The first one is is that it's completely pointless and it's not really worth going to get. Like it's it's not it's good, but it's not really that great. And two, in typical Black Ops 4 fashion, there is just way 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 too many steps of course i'm talking about the golden scalpel melee weapon that's on this map and i'm gonna be honest there's probably a good chance that you don't even know that this melee weapon exists the process for getting this i'm telling you is the most extraneous process that i've ever seen in my life like in any other game it would be like as many steps as like a main easter egg quest the things we're gonna need are first the hell's retriever second the golden spoon and then we gotta upgrade the hell's retriever to the hell's redeemer and then we got to upgrade the golden spoon to the golden spork but then once we actually have all of those things we can finally do the final upgrade steps to get the golden scalpel so i have a feeling that this is going to take a ridiculously long amount of time i'm kind of estimating that it's probably going to take me about 45 minutes but i guess i'll keep a timer on and we'll see i'm going to grab the mazu off the wall to help me out because this is the most underrated gun in call of duty zombies history you may notice that i have the ethereal razor perk on and that is because one of the steps later on i'm going to need a hundred melee kills in a very tight area so i'm pretty much going to need to have it on Okay, my last dog is filled. I can get the retriever now. Okay, but before I leave, I need to get this code, which is 561. Hey, okay, grab this retriever. That's the first out of four items that I need. Okay, then I can come down here and 561. Okay, let's blast this and give me my spoon, please. Thank you. You know what? I was going to start upgrading my retriever now, but I think I'm going to go ahead and get the blunder gap first. I'm going to need it for a step later on, so I might as well just get it now. You know what? I don't have the points to make it up to the roof right now, so I'm going to start upgrading this retriever, I guess. So if you don't know how to get the Hell's Redeemer on Blood of the Dead, basically you just need a bunch of kills in this general area with the retriever. It's a little bit of a tight area, but I think it's only like 30 something kills, so it shouldn't take me too, too long. You know, I was thinking this feels very random and arbitrary like why is it this specific area but then i remember it was also kind of random and arbitrary in the original mob of the dead so i guess it makes sense that it's just like following in the footsteps i can't say that i've got the redeemer on this map too many times like literally maybe like five or six times at most out of the like hundreds of times that i played this map Okay, I think that was the sound, that wolf sound that you heard. It was sort of hard to hear, but I definitely just finished the kill requirement. Like I said, I, I do want to get the blunder get like as soon as possible. So I'm going to just keep going for these skulls first before I do anything else. All right, this should be the last one, I believe. Yeah, we're good. Got my blunder get. Oh, bro, this perk is 5,500. Why is it so much? When you have it in the tonic spot, I did not realize it was that much. Okay, so pretty much there's gonna be a random wolf head that spawns around the map. And I think there's like 10 or so locations. And basically you just gotta find it while looking through your shield. Oh, here it is, here it is, here it is, here it is. Basically, we just throw our retriever at it and I lose my retriever. All right, I'm going to end the round now. To, to finish getting the Hell's Redeemer, I need to wait for a dog round. Oh, is it a dog round? Oh, it is a dog round. Okay, okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, so now what we have to do is there's going to be a ghost dog that spawns around the map somewhere and we can only see him while we have the shield in front of us. And basically, we just have to shield blast him before the round's over. Unfortunately, though, he could literally spawn anywhere i'm pretty sure i don't think there's like specific spawn locations so this is probably going to take a while oh wait oh there he is 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 there's our boy blast him there we go usually it takes me a lot longer to find that boy okay now when we go in here there is the house redeemer hell yeah if I remember correctly, the Hell's Redeemer on this map is actually pretty good, especially in comparison to how bad the Retriever is on Blood. All right, uh, I'm going to grab my perk now, my melee perk thing. Oh yeah, that's where it's at. Okay, unfortunately, we're still nowhere near done with the setup for this map because you do need the Blunder Gat. So we just got to keep getting ourselves set up, which is always fun. Um, Hopefully I can do it by the end of this round. How long does it... Okay, it's done, it's done. All right, I'm going to just go for it. Deposit the Essence. Let's grab it. 
Okay, 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 okay. Okay, we're in the clear. We're in the clear. Finally, we got the Magma Gat. Now, the only other thing that I need before I can actually start the Golden Scalpel quest is the uh, is the Golden Spork, which if you don't know how to get, it's another whole process. We basically throw the spoon in there, and then basically on the roof, you got to get 100 kills with the Magma Gat. So I'm probably going to be here for a while. Might as well pack a punch while I'm up here. Okay, there we go. Now we got the good magma guy. I actually really like the animation because like as you're killing from the roof, blood uh, like blood starts dropping into this bathtub. Oh, ain't that swell. Dempsey out here making Mob of the Dead quotes. All right, is this thing done? It's probably, there's no way it's done. I've got nowhere near 100 kills. I think the blood stops dripping whenever it's done. So yeah, we're definitely not there yet. All right, end of round 12. Is it done yet? I feel like it's still not done. Like 100 kills is just so many. Okay, it actually is. It, it actually is. Thank God. Okay, next we have to shoot these little yellow things off of this water tower. Um, not get myself stuck, that's for sure. Uh, there's that one and then that one. Okay. Uh, and then that basically makes the entire water tower literally just collapse. And then finally, eight years later, do I throw it there? Yes, there we go. The golden sport. After all of that setup, now we can finally do the actual steps for getting the golden scalpel. What we have to do is sit in this corner and get a hundred kills with melee. Dude, this melee perk is so good. It literally makes it so you can just like sit in the corner pretty much indefinitely and just melee. Obviously, you do have to like pay attention a little bit. Is it done? It's not done. It is not done yet. I think I need about like 20 more kills. I know I've got a I've I've got a shit ton already. Yeah, I'm assuming that special I'm assuming that kills with your specialist just don't count, or else this would have been done. Oh, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Alright, it took basically it takes my golden spork. I need to not go down. Okay, now this is why I needed the redeemer. See that little rock right there? Throw the redeemer. Pick up the rock, okay? You can't hear it in my voice. Like, this has been just a ridiculously long, unnecessary journey just to get a mediocre melee weapon. <laughs> the next rock is up there on the roof. Uh, you might not have seen it, but I picked it up. And then we got to blast this thingy majig again because our third rock is on that crane. Hopefully I got it. I did not see it pick up, but hopefully. So you might think that I'm almost done, but no, we're only just beginning. So we got to place the rock into the, the fan trap. And then we place an, another one of the rocks that we picked up. We place it here in the acid trap. And the third rock goes into the trap at spawn. And we have to get kills with each of the traps. And you're probably thinking like, oh, you probably need like eight kills, maybe nine, 10, maybe 20 kills at most. Nope, you literally need 100 kills with each trap. You need 100 kills with three different traps to get a melee weapon in Call of Duty Zombies what is the point and then of course brutus can come and just destroy the trap because that's always fun yeah so i'm gonna stay up in this area and work on these top two traps and then i'll go and do the spawn one very last this is gonna take so unbelievably long i'm realizing now that it would have been a lot more convenient to have the perk uh what's it called uh time slip time slip time slip time slip because it resets the trap cooldowns quicker that would have made a lot of sense definitely would have been more useful than anything i have on honestly look how maximized i have this though like okay so we we run through where we turn on the trap so we kill all the zombies outside and then the zombies that spawn in here watch this watch this i keep them in here and i right click through and then it kills all the zombies in there. Like, I'm just I'm just so optimized, you know what I mean? And then we just bring it over here. We turn this trap on. Like, I'm just really mid-maxing these zombies right now. Like, you have no idea how optimization this is. Is this one done? Oh, this one's done. This one's done. This one's done. See, it turns into a little gem that we can pick up. Okay, is this one done? Okay, this one is still a rock. So this one is absolutely not done. What round did I start this on? Because I'm at the end of round 22 and I'm still not done with both of these traps up here. All right, I feel like this might be the very last wave. Like there's a bunch of zombies here. Come on, I believe in you. Oh yeah, it's done, it's done. See, you can see the gem. All right, pick this up. And then we can come down here and drop our third and final rock right there. And just 100 more kills and we're finally done. 100 more. Now there is actually a fourth gem that I sort of forgot about, but luckily you don't have to get trap kills for. It's right there. 
I missed it. Oh, wait, you might you might have to wait. I might have to get these trap kills before I can get that one. I'll save that one for last, I guess. I, I'm not sure if you have to or not, but that's what I'm going to do. All right, I don't know if 100 zombies spawn in on this route or not, but I'm just hoping that round 25 is the very latest that I'll ever have to go to do a side Easter egg. Like, this is just actually absurd. Oh, dude, please don't destroy this stupid trap. I hate Brutus so much. What an asshole. All right, hopefully this is the last wave. Literally round 26. Like, I'm actually mind blown that it takes this many rounds. There it is. We're done. We're done. Oh my God, we're done. We did it, boys. We did it. We did the impossible. We did a side Easter egg on Black Ops 4. All right, grab the gem. Okay, for the record, the Ethereal Razor on round 26. I mean, what is this? Like, you know, like five six seven melees like it's taking a while it's not very good pop our way through here grab that and then it comes out over here and then finally oh my god here it is here it is the grand finale the 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 the, the final 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 show here it is the golden scalpel it doesn't look any different because i have the ethereal razor perk on so all of that and we don't even get to see like a special animation or anything like that but let's see if it's good oh it, it is one shotting and i'm not 100 percent sure if it one shots infinitely i would hope it does considering everything that we just did to get it if it doesn't then black ops 4 has a serious 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 problem but yeah is it worth doing absolutely not i would not recommend anybody do this unless you just enjoy doing the steps themselves which the steps themselves aren't even that fun to be honest literally just getting a certain amount of kills with the tomahawk to get the redeemer getting 100 kills on the roof with the magma gat getting 100 kills Kills with each trap dude like it's just so many zombie kills that are required to get like pretty much like one melee weapon you know i mean it's good i mean you know it one shots all the way to round 27 which is pretty cool i mean I, i'm assuming it would be one shotting even if i didn't have ethereal razor actually you know what i'm gonna go down on purpose i'm gonna go down on purpose i want to get rid of my perks here okay i'm gonna go down on purpose so i lose ethereal razor oh wait it's not gonna get rid of the perk that i wanted to get rid of oh no i still have the perk <laughs> there's literally no way for me to get rid of this stupid perk i guess we'll never be able to see the true animation for the scalpel okay so i was going to progress to the high rounds to see if it would actually one shot but i honestly have to go through so many rounds just to get to the health cap on black ops 4 so i decided to just look it up and yes this is an infinite one shot so i mean i guess that means it's good it's definitely it's definitely good but it's just absolutely not worth the time and by the way Way, in case you're wondering it did take me about an hour and five minutes to do the entire thing that was obviously with pausing kind of looking at guides to make sure i wasn't messing up and stuff like that but still it takes an unbelievable amount of time for literally just a melee weapon you cannot convince me that this makes sense to put in your game but then again like i've been saying about black ops 4 i would rather have these over complicated side easter eggs than to have no side easter eggs at all so i guess it's just kind of the price to pay for actually having content in zombies Anyways, I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you guys for watching